Okay, in this section we're going to look at defining a layering system. Um, we'll find out that defining a layering system provides a good method of organizing and grouping related items together, so maybe windows, doors, plumbing, electrical wiring, etc. Um, it makes it easier to view, display, and plot objects. Again, we'll see demonstrations of why you might possibly want to do this as well um, later on in this section. Um, so starting off this, we're going to open up the, the drawing link bracket. So if I pop up here and click open, you'll notice there's two link brackets, one link bracket black and link bracket white. Depending on your background, it uh, depends which one you choose. If you've got a black or dark background, I suggest you choose the black, or if you've got a, um, a white background or a light background, choose the obviously the white one. So if I click open to that, and we get this this drawing open on the screen that's already sort of uh, generated for us. Again, at the bottom of the screen, at the uh, bottom of your notes on section 1, um, page 5, it tells you to ensure that 4353 2D workspace is loaded, um, similar to the last course. Um, the workspace is your own personal workspace, so you don't need to go looking for the 4353 2D workspace. Um, you can see I'm just using here, if I move down here to the corner, I'm using the 2D drafting and annotation workspace. So, you know, whatever one suits you, again, personalize and modify it to your own tastes. So once I've got that done, again, what I recommend is that you actually, the first thing you do before you modify this is do a save as, just to, um, so that you'll have this as a backup, the original as a backup. So if I go and just do a file save as, or control shift S. Okay, so save as, and I'll just, pop it out into a little folder I've created, David Save Drawings, and I'll pop it in here. I won't even need to change the name of it, I'll just do a save. Okay, and you'll notice down at the top of the screen that it, um, it'll it it'll pop out to that, that particular folder. Now, one little issue I want to show you, so if I close this drawing down, <clears throat> and I go to open it up again, David Save Drawing, link bracket, so make sure you open up the one that you've saved and not the original again. So if I open up this one, up cups, pops this little um, reference box, if you like. It's it's telling me, and you'll kind of notice in the background there, it's lost the, um, it's lost the link to the, to the drawing. Now, I can go update the location of the reference files, or I can just ignore them, and I'll just ignore them for the minute because I want to show you just what actually is in there in place of it. So if I just ignore it temporarily, I can zoom into it. You see what it's got? J program files, AutoCAD 2004, drawing link bracket dash white. Now what is that? What does that refer to? Well, originally when this drawing was done by City and Gills, they obviously had a, a drive called a J drive, and that's where they stored that JPEG. And because we've kind of renamed it and saved it, it's looking for that uh, J drive, which I don't have on this PC here, and I'm sure you probably don't have a J drive either. So it's lost the link to it. Uh, this is a common enough occurrence. Uh, you might kind of see this with raster images. You might see it with uh, things we're going to look at, X reference drawings and all sorts of things. You'll see this. This is a common sort of thing that if you move something or rename it or do as we've done, you know, save a drawing that's that's kind of referenced somewhere else. Um, you'll see it kind of loses the, the link to it, so we're going to have to try and find that. Um, again, if I go um, insert and drawing reference, if I go there, external references, that's the one. Just open this box up. So you can tell me, you see, you see here, the link bracket white is not found. Um, again, save path is is the J drive. So if I left click on the link bracket, I'm going to just expand this down a little bit and pull this up slightly. There you go. And save path is there. You see down here, found at. If I left click in that box, you'll notice a little radio button over here on the end. If I left click on that, up this comes and it's going to ask me, okay, where is that image file? So I go back to the original 
folder the 2010 files I've got here and it's link bracket white I'm looking for so that's the one I'm looking for click open and that's it it's done you can just X out of this now you actually just you see, I just bring this down a little bit more you see it's C document and settings so I've kind of told that's where it is now so now it knows where it is if I close out of that you see we've got our our drawing done I'm not going to save that I'm going to close it because I'm going to see um, when I open it again yep. I'll use this method here this is probably the one you'll use um, update the location of the reference file and it brings this dialog box up so obviously that's the quickest way to do it so you wouldn't ignore it unless you maybe deliberately don't want it to come in same again here found that left click on that as soon as I left click on the found that box the radio button appears um, left click on that and link bracket white same thing again and X out of it and that's my my bracket found and this time I'll do a save and now when I close down and open up my drawing fingers crossed and there we go and we get our, our drawing saved okay